Here's how to make an automated AI generated faceless video. So I've seen this type of video floating around a little bit recently. It's basically just a background image and then some really cool stylized text uh, going along with a voiceover. Well, it turns out that this is really easy to automate um, and I'd love to show you how. All right, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go to JSON2Video, that's J-S-O-N, the number two, video.com, and create a free account. You just ask for an API key, it gets it emailed to you, and then you use that API key to log in. Uh, once you have an account, you can come to Movie Templates over here on the left-hand sidebar, and then you wanna create a new template. I've already created one, so I'm just gonna edit it. But the first thing you do is go to the right-hand side and change the resolution to custom. Uh, 1080 by 1920 if you're going to make a short form vertical video obviously you can make whatever you want um, then you come under scenes and you just add an image i created this in canva it's just i mean just really quick for the purposes of this uh, tutorial add an image and then click to add subtitles right so you click the little plus sign and then here you can create these cool stylized subtitles uh, i use the classic progressive here i'll show you what that looks like and it basically um does like every word and then the last word is yellow you can change all of that too uh, you can change the font you can change the font size the word color the line color the uh, outline color like everything can be changed right here the position uh, so that's really the the main feature the main benefit to this service is that you're able to make a video with really cool um, stylized uh, subtitle and then all you want to do is click add one more time and then add the audio you're not going to actually add an audio you just want to add that because it creates a place for it and then when you save it, you can come to the JSON here, and you're going to need this, but I'll show you that in a moment. We're going to move over to make.com now. In make.com, what I have here is a randomizer that randomizes a bunch of really cool AI-related topics. And then I have a perplexity module that uses uh, the new Llama 3 Sonar Large uh, 32K online. And um, actually, the newest is 128, but they don't have that available through their module yet. So um, you can make an API call if you'd prefer. But either way, uh, I use Perplexity. You are a topic summarizer. Uh, you look online for the latest information on a given topic and then summarize the most important details about that topic. That's the system prompt. And then the content is look up the latest information on this topic. That's the randomized topic. Provide an extractive summary of the most important details. Constraints are do not include pretext or context, only return the summary. Real simple, right? And then that output is given to GPT-40. Um, and GPT-40 is instructed, you're a monologue generator. You take information on a topic and create a poignant and powerful monologue about it. And then here's the user prompt, deliver a short monologue, less than 30 seconds to read on the topic. Use the following details. And this is the details from Perplexity. And then adopt a friendly educational tone. Do not sound poetic or prophetic. Just speak in a casual, matter of fact way. And then the constraint is to not include pretext or context and only return the monologue. Um, as it is to be used as a script for a video, and then be sure to make it short enough to be read in 30 seconds or less. And I'll explain why that is in a second. Then we use uh, OpenAI's um, Generate Text, right? So here, TTS 1 HD system, which is for high quality. Use uh, output as MP3. We use Cloud Convert to take that um, MP3 output, which it comes out in buffer, so it's not a URL, and we turn it into a URL using this module here cloud convert it's a converter file so it just converts an mp3 to an mp3 but the output is a url click download a file and that makes the url um, downloadable then we have the json to video here um, go to v2 slash movies post content type and then x api key is your api key that you got um, sent to you and then here in the request content is the json from the template so you just take it copy and paste it and the only thing you're going to change is under it'll say type audio and then there won't be anything there so you have to add a comma and then src which stands for source colon and then in parentheses or sorry in quotation marks the url from cloud convert and that's the only modification you have to make because when you come to this actually i'll show you in json to video you'll see it just says audio and there's nothing so you have to add the comma and then the src and the source and that will add the voiceover that was generated from OpenAI. And then JSON to video actually does have an integration with make.com. The reason we don't use it here is because we're using a template. And uh, for some reason, their create a video from a template endpoint doesn't allow you to put um, parameters in. So we just make the API call to do that. And then we use the um, native wait for a movie to render. And then that'll just like sit there and check and check and check until the video is done and then it'll give you the URL to the video. And when you run that, you end up with something like this.
Generative AI is this fascinating branch of artificial intelligence that goes beyond just extracting info from existing sources. Instead, it creates new content, text, images, video, even music, by learning patterns from large data sets. Think ChatGPT or DALL-E, which can spin out anything from a poem to a piece of digital art from simple text prompts. It's predicted that by 2025, generative AI could be responsible for 10% of all data we produce, revolutionizing personalized content and creativity. Yet, with all its promise, there's valid concern about overhyping its capabilities and ensuring it serves humanity and the planet responsibly. A couple of quick notes on JSON2 videos plans, however, obviously on the free plan, you have the watermark. Um, now you can prepay for 120 minutes, which for such short videos uh, will probably last you a while. If you're a heavy user, you can also get a subscription. Um, but regardless of whether or not you have the free or the paid, unfortunately, the max length is, I think for the free is only about 60 seconds long for the paid. I think it doesn't go up much more. It's like um, two minutes unless you go to startup or above. Uh, so this is going to be short form. Um, Transloaded obviously uh, is a direct competitor. Transloaded offers a lot more on their free tier. However, um, it's really difficult, if not impossible, to have stylized um, subtitles the way JSON2 video has. So for stylized subtitles, uh, I think this is a great option, especially because in the um, module, uh, you have the ability to create slideshows too. So you don't have to just use uh, Transloaded. So if you want anything that has stylized subtitles shorter than um, a minute, then JSON2Video is a great alternative to Transloaded. All right. Hope that helps. Cheers.